I'd like to show you now are like four drills that we do with our face-off guys to warm up. We think each of them do a little bit different and it's real important that they do these every day to kind of increase their stamina, work on ball placement, and work on their body memory of how they do face-off each time. How they step, how they clamp, how they, and how they get a little bit quicker. So the first one we're going to show you is going to be little uh, chops over the ball to really help your hand speed and getting you really down low to the ground and not picking your stick up off the ground, which a lot of young kids do. The second one is going to be little quick clamps where we try to clamp the ball quickly and get back into our stance really quickly, developing muscle memory, uh, which a lot of face-off guys don't have, and that's sometimes when their stances are off, they don't understand why. It's one of the big reasons we do it. Uh, the third one is stepping. We think that's a really big one when you step and get your whole body over the ball so you gain superior position over your opponent, and that's real important. A lot of kids just use their hands nowadays, and we really want to use our body to get the best spot possible. And then the fourth one is going to be ball direction. A lot of people, when they face off, don't put the ball in the proper spots, and we'll show you the 45-degree angles. We think the ball should come out in order to win a successful face-off. The first drill we talked about are this little chops. Now when you start doing these little chops, you don't want to do big looping things. You want to do really, really tight, small little chops over the ball, barely touching it. So we go down, and they go right over the top. You don't want to go too far, just over the top. If you touch the ball, don't worry about it, but just go over the top of it. And do this three or four times. We're going to do it two or three times here for you. Again, down. And just going over the ball as quick as they can, back and forth, working on their hand quickness and keeping their stick really low to the ground, as you see here. The next one we're going to do is little clamps. All right, what we like to do is get the ball and keep their butt end on the ground. They clamp the ball at a 45 degree angle, bring it back to their spot, and do it again. So they're going to do this over and over. As we demonstrate now, we go down, clamp, and they get back. They really want to push and get a nice 45 degree angle when they do this. Down, again, good. Down, down. Notice how we try to make them keep their stick really low to the ground and no butt ends are coming off the ground. Down. Again, down. Good. As you see, you see how they keep their sticks flat and it really gets their muscle memory going. Now, the third thing we like to do is step. When we really want to step, you're going to use your right foot and step at a 45 degree angle and meet it with the top of the, top of the plastic of the head. And that gives them a great position over the ball and you'll see their body is going to be directly over the ball so you gain that great position. Down. Right there, see how the bodies are right over the ball in a great spot. We reset as quick as we can, down, and reset. Now we do it again, down, and keep that muscle memory. So now you're doing this, your body always knows where to go. That's especially important when it was really hot out in 95 degrees and your body starts getting a little bit tired, it remembers what exactly to do. One more time, down. Now the fourth thing we're going to do here is we're going to get the ball out. First time we're going to go behind us, you want to go in a 45 degree angle and get the ball out so your opponent has to go through you in order to get the ball. If you put it at, down the line or forward in, in a straight line, your opponent has a great chance to get that ball. So the first thing we're going to do is go behind us at a 45 degree angle, down, get it behind you. As you see they go great angles, their opponents have to go right through them. Alright, we'll demonstrate that one more time. Come in, hurry up, down. Boom, again, just behind him, good. Now again, now the same thing when you go get in your stance and you want to do a fast break, you want to go to a 45 degree angle forward because you don't want to get, give your opponent a great shot to get the ball. If you put it straight ahead, he can push you off the ball and we don't want that. We want to put it in a spot where only we can get the ball. So we go down, get it, nice 45 degree angles, and they can pick it up. All right, one more time. Here we go, down. Again, nice 45 degree angles and they go. So those are four really good uh, uh, fundamental drills that you can do with your face-off guys on a daily basis. And we do them here at Stevenson every day, and it really thinks it helps our face-off guys. So thanks a lot.